Hey guys, Brian Osborne here from Answers in Genesis. Hope you're doing well. And right now I'm here at the bookstore in the Creation Museum. So many amazing things you get here in the bookstore. So many great resources you can uh, get to equip yourself and your families to defend their faith. Lots of cool shirts and t-shirts and of course dinosaurs for the kids and those sculptures and gems, etc., etc. We come here quite often, as you might imagine, as a family since we live close to the Creation Museum. And actually, quite often when we're in here, in the bookstore, my son, who is six, he will see something that he really, really wants, as all kids do, right? It might be a stuffed animal, as we're coming up here in the stuffed animals, maybe a dinosaur replica, maybe a bag of gems, or maybe a fossil or something like that, and I want to buy it. And of course, we do what every good parent does, that is, we tell him, you must count the cost. Some of the toys are behind me right there. So you gotta count the cost. Son, do you have enough money to buy this particular item before you try to buy it, right? And, and of course, you have to count the cost. Does he have enough money, et cetera, et cetera. You parents know how that goes. But in today's lesson, we see, at least in a similar way, Jesus doing the same sort of thing. And that is, he's telling the people who are following him what it actually means to be a disciple. What is the cost of being a disciple of Jesus? And he encourages them to count the cost. He does this in multiple levels. And he does it in truth and in love because he's being very clear to them. What does it mean to be a disciple of Jesus? What does it actually cost? He gives the analogies as we see in the lesson about, you know, someone's going to build a tower. They count the cost. Do they have enough resources to build a tower? Or a king going to war, does he have enough resources to win the battle? They count the cost before they engage in the activity. And Jesus is encouraging his listeners here in this lesson to count the cost. And what does it cost to be a disciple of Jesus? Well, in essence, it costs everything. If you're gonna follow Christ, he's very clear, you must deny yourself, pick up your cross and follow him. That's what it means to be a follower of Jesus. That is what is expected. That is the requirement of a follower of Christ. And he's very plain about that. We see that in multiple places. And he tells them that if you're a follower of me, just as I've been persecuted, you'll be persecuted as well. And so Jesus is being very clear about the cost. You gotta lay down your life, lay down your comfort, lay down your preferences and put him first. He actually says that your love for him should be by comparison, it should make your love for your family look like hate. In other words, you love him so much, he's so preeminent, preeminent in your life, in your thinking, that it seems like you hate others because he is first and foremost. Now, of course, he's not telling them to hate their family, but he's saying by comparison, your love for him is so much more because he is first and foremost. Your desire is his glory and his glory alone. And in Jesus declaring this truth to them, he's being very gracious. He's telling them exactly what a true disciple actually is. He's not hiding it from them, trying to spring it on them later on. No, if you want to be my disciple, you lay down your life, you sacrifice, you put me first, you pick up your cross and you follow me. He actually says those who try to hold on to their lives now will lose it. And those who lay down their lives will actually find real life, real purpose and eternal life through him and him alone. And guys, let us follow the example of Jesus. Let's be clear about what the gospel message actually is. What does it really mean to be a disciple? You see, to be a disciple of Jesus does not mean to live your best life now from an earthly perspective. Right? That's a false narrative. No, to be a disciple of Christ means He is first, He is foremost. We lay down our lives for His glory. And then we watch Him work in amazing ways through our lives. But it's a self-denial. It's actually a lowering of ourselves to lift Christ up. That's what it truly means to be a disciple. Jesus is laying that out. He's teaching that. Let's teach that as well. Hope you guys have a good day. We'll talk later on. See ya.